Hello, this first tutorial video will show how to navigate Virtual Warehouse and Spectral Geospatial Installation Manager to manage and deliver perpetual licenses. Virtual Warehouse is an all-in-one web tool designed for our channel partners to simplify managing, distributing, and selling our hardware and software products. Virtual Warehouse will be used by our dealers to track stock levels of purchased items, assigning software onto a hardware, adding warranties, adding modules to the field software, as well as assigning subscriptions to our customers. Let's go over how to log in to the virtual warehouse. There are two methods to log in into the virtual warehouse. The first method is to log in via the Spectral Geospatial Partner Store. Simply open up your web browser and search up Spectral Geospatial. Click on Spectral Geospatial to open up our website. Now, click on the Partners button on the top right. Next, enter your Trimble ID which is the email address and the password you use to log into the partner store or simply create an account if you do not have a Trimble ID. Once logged into the partner store, click on the virtual warehouse button on the top left. This will automatically log you into the virtual warehouse. The second method to log into the virtual warehouse is a direct login. In your browser, simply search up https colon backslash backslash support.trimble.com backslash services backslash virtual warehouse and press enter. Now, log in using your Trimble ID or create it if you do not have one. Once logged in, you'll be brought to the assign slash upgrade tab screen. As a Spectral Geospatial dealer, you will only need to use the assign slash upgrade tab and the subscribe tab. The assign slash upgrade tab is the main tab you will use to manage and deliver perpetual licenses and hardware. Now, let's go over how to populate stock into the Virtual Warehouse. Virtual Warehouse populates automatically and shows the stock as you buy supported hardware and software from us. The following are the supported products that will be managed on the Virtual Warehouse. All forms of origin perpetual licenses. All form of origin subscription licenses. Origin supported data collectors, which are Ranger 5, Ranger 7, SC10, and Mobile Mapper 60, as well as any future data collectors which may support origin. Once the virtual warehouse is populated in the Science Slash Upgrade tab on the left-hand side of your screen, you'll be able to see all the different hardware variants available, as well as the stock levels. You can also click on hardware type on the left vertical tab, Ranger 5 in this example, and can see all the different Ranger 5s available in stock, as well as the ones that are already sold. On the right-hand side of the screen, you can see all the different software perpetual licenses available, as well as their stock levels. You can also add additional devices to the virtual warehouse. To do so, click on Add Device under the Hardware Variants vertical tab. Next, select the device type and simply enter a serial number, a reference, and click OK. Now, let's talk about the three different status of a data collector. A data collector can have a status of unassigned, not activated, and activated. Unassigned means there is no software assigned to the hardware. Not activated means the software is assigned but has yet to be installed into the hardware. In the middle configuration vertical panel, you can see the software, modules, and the protection plans that are assigned to the particular hardware. In this example, the range of five has been assigned the origin total station perpetual license and no modules or no Trimble protection plans. When a hardware is not activated, you can actually remove the assigned software from the hardware by Selecting the not activated hardware, clicking on the unassigned button on the bottom right hand corner and then simply clicking yes. Lastly, the third status of a data collector is activated. A data collector becomes activated once an assigned perpetual software is installed into the hardware. Once again, in the middle configuration vertical section, you can see all the field software modules and the protection plans that are installed onto the hardware. In this example, this range of five contains an origin LT perpetual software, no modules, and a 12 month term of the Trimble protection plan. Finally, now let's get into assigning a perpetual license onto a data collector. To assign a perpetual license, first you'll need to search for a specific hardware. First is the not so efficient way of searching for the correct hardware by manually sorting through all the stock. Second, a more efficient method is by using the filter method. Under the Hardware Variants section, simply click the Filter button. Select how you want to search. In this example, we will search for a specific range of five using its serial number. And now simply enter its serial number in the search box. This, in my opinion, is the most efficient search method because you can actually pick up a range of five 
from your physical inventory. Look at its serial number and search for that particular range of file on the virtual warehouse using its unique serial number and assign the wanted software to it. After finding the specific hardware, you can select the hardware by clicking on the hardware under hardware variants. Now, under the configuration vertical panel, you can assign fuel software, modules, and the protection plans, also known as warranties. To assign software, you can click on Add Software button, which will bring up a pop-up only showing the software that are supported by that specific hardware, in this case, a range of five. Now, select the wanted software. On the right, you can see all the available stock of each software. After selecting the software, click the Assign button located at the bottom and then click OK. The software has now been assigned. Under the configuration panel, you can see the assigned software. Under the fuel software section, you can click on Assign Trimble Protection Plans to assign warranties to the software. Here, we will assign a four-year origin perpetual warranty. Now, under the configuration panel, you can see the assigned software as well as the warranty. To assign modules, simply click on Assign Module. Select the wanted module and click Assign. Here, we will assign origin roads. Lastly, if you want to assign a protection plan to the hardware separate from the software, click on Assign Trimble Protected Plans in the configuration panel under Trimble Protection Plans. Next, select the wanted warranty and click Assign. Now, to install the assigned software onto the data collector, simply turn on the data collector and connect it to the internet. Open up Spectra Geospatial Installation Manager. The data collector already knows the software it has been assigned. Select the language for help and click Install. This will install the perpetual software onto the device. On the virtual warehouse, you can also download an Excel stock report by clicking on Download Report in the navigation bar to get a list of all the purchased stock, including the ones already assigned to the customer. After clicking on Download Report, it will ask you to set a password. This is the password which you will use to open up the Excel sheet. Simply enter the password and click OK. This will download the stock report. This concludes the part one of the tutorial video on navigating virtual warehouse to assign perpetual licenses. In a different video, the part two of the tutorial will cover using virtual warehouse to assign subscription licenses.